All right, welcome, my friends. All right, Dave McDonald's Quarantunes, day number three. <laughs> Here, we're staying inside, we're staying safe, but we're having fun drawing cartoons. I, I hope you're enjoying this. So day number three, uh, I'm just gonna get started. I think I need to do some warm-up shapes like I always do, just to get warmed up. All right, remember yesterday we did some circles, maybe some oval shapes. And as I'm doing this, I do wanna give some I like to do shout outs. So today I'm gonna to shout out to some friends. Um, some of them have contacted me and I've actually received some comics from some young cartoonists. Jensen, I've seen you working, saw your work. He's a young cartoonist, young cartoonist, but boy is he having fun, Jensen. Addie Grace, Addie Grace up in North Carolina. She's enjoying this drawing series. Hey, Addie Grace. Uh, I got uh, a comic also from Leal. Leal, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. L-I-E-L, -E Leal. She sent me a comic and it was actually very good. It was a safety comic about how to be safe and stay safe from the coronavirus. Very informative, very well done. So Leal, congrats on that. I'm really excited. And then some Texas family. I have to shout out to some Texas family. First and foremost, my man, Brian S. Brian tells me he's going to be drawing along with me. <laughs> hey, Brian. We won't tell how old Brian is. He's, a, he's a, a kid at heart, we'll just put it that way. Hey, Brian. And then my lovely little, uh, the two sisters, Addie and Rylan. They're my two little Texas sweethearts. I think Rylan's a little young to be drawing, but maybe she could watch her older sister. I hope you're doing well out there. And of course, Tuscany. Tuscany, how are you doing? She's a great cartoonist. She has made lots of comics and, and shared them with me. And so I hope she's watching and enjoying this. Hey, Tuscany. All right, I think I'm all warmed up here for today. Now, yesterday, if you'll recall, we created this hero character. This hero was gonna be, uh, was gonna save the day from our day number one character, which was <clears throat> the Corona virus monster, King COVID. And so what I thought today I could get you started on was maybe making a comic featuring these wonderful characters that we created. So we've got these two characters and they're really great because uh, they present conflict and that's important to any story, any comic. You've got the good versus the bad. That's, that's the basis for a lot of comic stories. So what I want you to do is get a piece of paper, maybe draw some panels. Panels are just boxes or frames. Take one piece of paper, maybe divide it into, I don't know, four or five panels. You can see I just hand drew these. I didn't even take time to use a, a ruler. Um, but one, two on the top, maybe two on the bottom, maybe three on the bottom. It's up to you. I drew two on the top and you would read this like this, left to right, top to bottom, one, two, three, four, five. And that's how you would read this page of comics, okay? So once you go ahead and draw out your panels, I've already gone and done this. I've given my comic a title. I won't show you this yet, but the title of my comic. <laughs> I think you're going to enjoy this if you like my silly humor, my bad puns. The Defeat <laughs> of King COVID. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> defeat? <laughs> I crack myself up. The Defeat of King COVID. He's here. He's probably going to be attacking the city, but this is what I call a title panel. Just kind of gives you the title of the comic, maybe the name of the artist is in there, and a little drawing of one of your characters, okay, to create some interest in your comic. And then what, what I'm gonna do is suggest to all of you, go ahead and write these words into your first panel right at the top. And what we're gonna do with that, that becomes a caption box. Watch, I write these words. You can pause the video if you need to pause it so you can write these words, and then when you're done writing them, draw a line underneath the words that goes straight across the panel. And now that becomes a caption box, kind of like the voice of a narrator, okay? The city was strangely quiet when suddenly, dot, dot, dot. And what we're trying to do with this is hook the reader, hook the reader, pull them into the story, right? We've got conflict going on. So use your words and pictures to pull, to hook your reader and get them interested in reading your story. And it's up to you. I want you to finish the rest of the comic. What do we see here? The city 
is it being attacked or is it almost, is it getting ready? Is it still quiet here? Do we see something in, something peeking out here? Do we hear a big noise? That's all up to you. And when we get down here, maybe the comic is finished, but maybe it's not. And do you know what we would put in a box down here if the story was not finished? What would we write in this little box? That's right, to be continued. To be continued, dot, dot, dot. And then you just continue on another page. But I did want to get you started on this comic, just so you can have an activity to do uh, for a couple days, maybe. And this won't, I mean, this won't take too long, but you can have a lot of fun with this, create a whole story of what happens when King COVID is met with our hero, the cowboy robot. We haven't given him a name yet, I don't think, but you could give your, uh, your hero character a name, okay? So get started on that and see how that goes. Now, I did want to do a little bit of drawing today with you, if we could. Let's see, what did I want to do? Okay, so we're switching gears here. Let's, I want to go out to the farm, and this drawing will be inspired by the farm. I want to create a character that's pretty easy to draw. I think you'll enjoy this. It's based on some simple shapes. So go ahead and get a clean sheet of paper and a pencil, maybe a marker, Sharpie or something. And if you're using a Sharpie, please make sure and put some extra paper down so it doesn't bleed through or draw on some newspaper or magazine, okay? So with your pencil first, I want you to draw a, a very light circle, very faint. I'm, draw, I'm drawing it a little darker than normal just because I need for you to see that shape. And then on top of it, up here, a smaller circle, okay? They don't have to be perfect circles. And then what we're going to do is kind of connect them like this. Just connect them. And then in here, we're gonna draw an oval shape like this. Oval shape, what are you doing, Mr. Dave? <laughs> in my school program, some people call me Mr. Dave, some people call me Mr. McDonald. But I'm wondering if you are wondering what we're drawing here. What we're going to be creating is a series of characters I call the Hopalongs. All right, the Hopalongs, because they're not going to have feet, they're going to bounce around on their bodies. <laughs> and so this character, we're gonna create a horse, I think. A horse, let's see how we might, might do this. Okay, so that's basically the shape I need for the body and the, and the muzzle of the horse. Maybe this character has, maybe he's just kind of resting before he goes out. So we'll just do a backwards C shape here for the arm and then a circle for the hand and a couple of fingers there, just like that. C, circle, maybe some fingers. And maybe he's just kind of gesturing here. He's pointing at something that's off in the distance. So use your little, I call these elbow macaronis, <laughs> these little arms. Sometimes they're just a little bent tube shape. So they're elbow macaronis. And then at the end, an oval to, to represent an ovals for the thumb and the hand. Okay, and then let's see, that's about it for penciling, I think. I'm ready to start, well, maybe the eyeballs. I can put in some eyeballs here, all right? And maybe my triangles for ears. Triangles for ears. Okay, now you can see he's about to take shape here. So let's get drawing with ink. Or you could just draw heavier with your pencil. That's up to you. Pupils in there. Again, I leave that little white circle for a little pop, a little reflection. All right, something I didn't draw in here was these big horse nostrils. Upside down letter U with a little black dot in the middle. All right, let's just give him a smile. And he's got a funny tooth there. He likes to eat apples, so that big tooth comes in handy. Let's see, up here, he's got a ear. And he's got his mane. long mane of hair coming down, right? Okay, looking pretty fun so far. Elbow macaroni. And you could just, you could draw this as one big shape like a mitten or you could do 
Well, let's just do that. Pretend he's got his, he's not, doesn't have fingers. He just has like hooves there. And around we go on the elbow macaroni there. And watch this around, down to the bottom and back up. All right, so the shape of the body basically looks like a bowling pin really with these two circle shapes. Now here we can make him look like he's hopping by adding a shadow beneath the character. So watch this, a little flat oval, little flat oval. And we'll fill that in Get a little quicker with my Sharpie. I want to darken this line in a little bit, make it a little thicker, a little heavier. All right. And back to my other pen. Hey, let's give him a, he's got a pair of jeans on, right? Maybe he's got a big belt buckle. And if they're jeans, it might have that seam down the side with the stitches in it. Go ahead and ink over those lines. Maybe the hint of a belt. There's those denim jeans he's wearing with the stitching. Very fancy. And again, if you want to make that look like it's darker, go ahead and do a little bit of cross hatching. Let's make these lines go. See how that kind of gives it a gray effect? Maybe it's a there's a star in his belt buckle. Okay. Okay, so we got the shadow underneath. Maybe a few motion lines. These indicate that he might be moving. Okay. And there he is. Let's call him Hop Along Horse. There he is. <laughs> Hop along horse. And then you could go in and color this character. And sometimes I even erase. Where's my eraser? Where did it go? Here it is. You can go in and erase some of those pencil lines to clean it up a little bit. All right. Again, I use that pencil to help guide me as I make these shapes. I didn't just create that bowling pin shape out of nowhere, I use those two circles to start with. The small, the big circle here and the small circle up top. And there's Hop Along Horse. <laughs> I hope you had fun drawing Hop Along Horse with me. And again, you've got something to do now for the next couple of days. You can create your, don't forget to create your comic. King COVID, right? Take that hero character and go defeat that nasty, ugly monster, okay? So wrapping it up, all right, I just want to thank all my viewers, thank the teachers out there. Make sure you thank your teachers. They're doing a hard job getting you uh, all of your learning through e-learning. Um, and I, personally, I do want to thank uh, the, the frontline uh, employees of places like grocery stores and home suppliers, truck drivers. We're sitting here at home. Hopefully we're not complaining too bad or we're not too bored. Some people are out there uh, and they're, they're struggling. It's a tough job out there. We've got truck drivers trying to keep the food coming for us, working uh, around the clock. Obviously, all the first responders, fire, police, medical personnel, doctors, nurses, cleaning staffs. Can you imagine the job of a cleaning staff right now? Hardworking people. I thank you so much. Uh, that's just a tough job, and we, we all appreciate it. So thank you all. If you know somebody like that that's working through this, please, if you can find the time, thank them somehow from six feet away. Social distancing, all right? Keep those hands washed, be well. Stay safe, my friend, keep drawing. Okay, until next time.